Okay, let me give you guys some more practice. So um, let's say I'm filling up my car with petrol. If you're American, it's gas. Um, well, 13 litres of petrol cost £8.93. Now, had I wanted 17 litres, how, how, uh, how much would 17 litres cost? So, um, so press pause and, um, and have a go. Okay, so um, summarize the situation. So at the moment, it's 13 litres and it costs um, £8.93. Pence, okay, so you, you could you could uh, you could reason that um, you could reason that one litre would cost um, would cost. Uh, hang on, let, let, let me get what. So so you could reason that one litre would cost uh, would cost eight pound eight point nine three divided by thirteen equals um, equals zero point six nine. Um, not point six nine. So, so here you uh, you could reason that what well, that well, if thirteen costs this much, you you could divide this by by thirteen to get to one, and uh, and this here you divide it by thirteen as well. That would take you to one liter here. So one liter would cost this. So our, our remember our target is to uh, to work out seventeen liters. How much would seventeen liters cost? Okay. Um, so, so here from from this here, um, uh, from from here, then uh, then then times both sides by by seventeen. Okay, so you times seventeen on this side, and then you times seventeen on this side, times seventeen here. So uh, so one one times seventeen would be this, and then uh, this times seventeen. Hang on, calculator times 17 so that times uh 17 here 17 here equals equals um e e equals 11.68 11.68 so 17 liters would cost us this amount here okay um but the, the, you could always go back to one and then from the one jump to the 17 um, a, 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 um, a quicker way is just to start with your, your original situation, which, which was 13 litres cost 8 pounds, um, 13 litres here cost 8 pounds 93, 8 pounds 93, and just, just jump straight to the 17 rather than going to 1. So, so here, 17 is here, you want to know X. Now, because you want to know x, you you would start here and jump into the x. What what is this multiplier here? Okay. Well, you can work out this multiplier here by by well by getting the destination divided by the original. So re remember, you 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 are going to start here, and then you're going to well what what is this multiplier here? Well, this multiplier here will be the destination destination divided by the original which is 13 here so the multiplier is actually 17 over 3 17 over 3 uh, over 13 sorry 17 over 13 so if you want to know x starts here and then times this this thing here and that will give you x so hang on let me clear this uh clear this so start at 8.93 um, 8.93, and then you, you times, uh, 17, uh, what, well, well, uh, you, you times 17 over 13, but, but I'm, I'm just gonna multiply it to the top, and then, well, uh, th this is what I'm doing at the moment. You should, you should get this times this fraction here, but then, but then this, so, so at the moment here, it gets multiplied to the top. So, um, hang on, it gets, it gets multiplied to the top. So I'm just gonna get this. Multiply 17 and then and then divided by 13. It's it's the same thing. Okay, so uh, now divided by 13 here equals equals this 11 um, 11.68 11.68. You see this here is the same as this. So ra so rather than rather than starting at 13 and then jumping to the one and then from the one jump to the 17 here. Um, you, um, you, 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 you can just, you can just like lay it out like this. 
and then jump directly to the 17. Well, if you think about it, dividing dividing by 13 is really uh, the same as multiplying by uh, a, a by, by one over 13. Okay, because well, well, um, so 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 when you when you get uh, third, so say you're here at the moment, you um you start at 13, and then you you divide it by so, um. So yeah, yeah. So hang on. So 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 let's say you you start at thirteen here, uh, and then you divide it by thirteen because that's what you're doing. You start here, and then you divide it by by thirteen here. Well, dividing by thirteen is the same as you getting uh thirteen here, multiplying it by uh one over. My my, my point is is rather my point is instead of thinking uh what well, an alternative to dividing by thirteen is is to uh to times by uh, uh, by one over thirteen. So, so here you, you're, you're in effect timesing it by one over thirteen. What I'm trying to say is that when when you started here, you, you're actually m multiplying one over thirteen here. So, 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 t so from here you you uh, you multiply by one over thirteen, and then and then you multiply again by by seventeen here. Okay. Well, you see, this this thing and this thing here is the same as as seventeen over thirteen. It's the same thing. But, um. So 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 from here, from here, you you times by by one over thirteen, and then you times by seventeen. That's the same as you jumping directly. So third, um, seventeen. Well, if if you think about it, this here times this here. Hang on. 1 over 13 and then you times 17 here this is a fraction it gets multiplied to the top so so that's the same as 17 over 13 which is the same as what we what, what we did earlier we started here and then we jumped directly uh, by jumping directly it's really the combination of a third uh, 1 over 13 and then 13 these two merge together is the same as us jumping from here directly to here. Well, I hope you understand. Um, okay.